Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to now episode eight of the 10 ways God is constantly involved in our lives. And this is very, very interesting. And that is through tzaddikim. It says that God, when he made the world, he wanted, very interesting, wanted to make it completely dark. As we discussed last time, the whole goal of this world, the reason it's dark is because we only appreciate light after darkness. If everything is light, you don't appreciate it. You only appreciate a sunrise after a night. In other words, you can only appreciate things that you don't have. You only appreciate a sunset, that beauty, because it's not there all the time. If it was there all the time, you wouldn't appreciate it. So too, God made little windows to the infinity of God that really he's here. And one of the ways that he did this is tzaddikim. There are many, many great sages in our time, foremost, Rabbi Menachem Mendel Schneerson, and there are countless miracles. I really encourage you, you could write to the Rebbe, I'll just tell you a miracle that literally happened to me. My daughter's physiotherapist, she was six months old, and she couldn't hear. Dr. Peter Friedland in South Africa did three tests, and she couldn't hear. So he decided he's going to do an internal hearing test, which puts the child to sleep. And I thought to myself, a six-month-old child shouldn't have to be put to sleep. It doesn't sound like very safe to me. So what I did is I told her mother, write to the Rebbe. She wrote to the Rebbe, again, R-E-B-B-E at O-H-E-L dot org. She wrote to the Rebbe. Believe it or not, Monday morning, he did an external the hearing test before he put her under, and her hearing was 100% fine. There are countless, countless stories. I'll tell you another story. There was a young man, um, his a kind of teacher brought him to the Rebbe, and he had left Judaism. One of the commandments of a Jew is to put on tefillin every day, and he stopped this practice. And a couple months later, his uh, rabbi sees him. His rabbi sees that he's a religious Jew. He said, what happened? He says, I wrote to the Rebbe, and I told the Rebbe that it was just between me and the Rebbe. I said, Rebbe, if you get me into law school, I'll put on tefillin every day. Listen to what happened. A couple months later, I was in law school, <laughs> and I started putting on tefillin, but I forgot about it. Suddenly, my mother calls me up. She said, did you make a deal with the Lubavitcher Rebbe? And I said, yes, but how do you know? She said, he came to me in a dream and he told me that tell your son if he doesn't keep his part of the deal, I won't keep my part of the deal. I'll tell you another story. Again, this story I heard from my cousin who heard it from his actual father and it happened to him. The story goes like this. He was in Montreal, Canada and there was a blackout. So he went to a hotel that had a generator and there was a lady there, like a Korean lady, that was very sweet. She was like, Rabbi, what can I do? So eventually he said to her, you know, you're so busy. Why are you giving me so much attention? Why are you trying to help me? So she said, listen, Rabbi, there's actually something important that I need to give to you. Do me a favor. Could you come to my apartment? It's close by. I need to give this uh, thing to you. So he said, okay. He goes to the apartment and he walks in and he sees a large, large picture of the Rebbe. You could look up the Rebbe, what he looks like, almost with candles around, almost like a shrine. She goes, this is a picture of God. So he was a little taken aback. He says, what do you mean? She says, well, my mother and I came from Korea, and she's the only one that I have. And unfortunately, she fell ill, and you can imagine how afraid I was. So I prayed to God, and then I saw in a dream, somebody came to me and said, don't worry, your mother will get better. Make a long story short, many years later, I saw a big sign with a picture of the Rebbe that said the Mashiach, the Messiah, is on his way. We just need to add in goodness and kindness. Say, oh my God, that's the man from the dream. So I tracked him down. I realized he lives in New York and people can go visit him on Sunday. So I came to him and before he said a word, sorry, before I said a word of who I was, he said, I told you your mother would get better. That's amazing when you think about it. There is a man who's capable of hearing the prayers of all people. This is amazing stuff. There are many, many, many stories. I don't want to go into it. You can read the stories on your own. But the point is that the Rebbe is one of tens of thousands, you know, certain religion that if you do three miracles, you're considered a saint. By the Rebbe, there were three miracles every hour. It was like many of these great Rebbe's nonstop. So what does it prove to you? It proves to you that God's hand is complete. The taxi driver that brought me over here the other day, he told me that he had, uh, I think it was, uh, I don't remember, but a family member. He went to the Baba Sali, a very great rabbi, and she was like, doctors had given up hope. She had Yenemach, she had bad cancer. And uh, they prayed for her all night. They went to the doctor. The next day, I heard the story from the guy himself. It, was, it had disappeared. And unfortunately, five years later, it, it, it sort of, she it kind of came back where she was like uh, very sick. They went to the rabbi. The rabbi said, I'm sorry. Kind of, she had finished her mission in this world. And that very night, she died. So there are people that have this kind of understanding. I met a guy once in a restaurant. 
who once said that his, uh, he had asked um, for a prayer for the Rebbe, for his mother. The Rebbe gave kind of a cryptic note back. It's very interesting. He gave the English name. The Rebbe gave the Hebrew name back. Again, how does the Rebbe know that? And he said, so-and-so will return to Zion. And he gave an English date, like March 20th, and she passed away that date. So we're talking about people that have, an, like, the crystal ball. It's really quite amazing. There's a crystal ball. And so they come and they help us and they show us. So this is one of the constant involvements of God, having these spiritual people that are able to show us that there is a God. Everything is preordained. And this is a great kindness of God.